for as long as I can remember, there have been adamant fans of either Star Trek or Star Wars. I'm a fan of both, but I do have a special affection for Star Trek. I've never really understood why there was even a debate. Why do some people choose one over the other and seemingly dislike those who do not agree with them? Let us compare the franchises. Star Trek is set in the future of Earth. Over a course of 500 years, humanity has begun to explore the universe. We eventually began to colonize other planets and met alien life. It did not take too long for us to make a group of aliens upset, and the next thing we know, Florida is shot from space. Even this leads us to various alien species and form a galactic United Nations. Eventually, we meet more aliens, tick them off, end up in a war, then end up in a cold war, and then end up in another war. In the last war, we find out that there was a shape-shifting group of aliens behind it who were trying to divide and conquer the galaxy. We eventually defeat them and enter a period of peace around the year 2500. Star Wars is set in a very far away distant place. In the past, there are two well-defined factions, the Galactic Empire and the Rebel Alliance. At some point, the Galactic Empire takes over the Galactic Republic thanks to a rogue senator with special powers. This, in turn, creates the Rebel Alliance. The Rebels are comprised primarily of those displaced by the Empire. Over the course of centuries, the Rebels and the Empire fight with no end in sight, each procuring super beings known as either the Jedi or the Sith. I know that the name of the factions and circumstances change over time, but the story is pretty much the same. Other than the space theme, nothing really is the same between the series. Star Trek focuses on many different locations based around the Federation. Star Wars focuses primarily on the leadership of the Empire and the Rebels. There is also nearly a decade between the series' creations. Star Trek was created in 1964, and Star Wars was created in 1973. With that said, what is there to argue about? Is it the relativity and plausibility of the themes? I mean, how about technology? Well, first, none of it is relative. We have yet to meet any confirmed alien race. In Star Trek, we will not officially meet any aliens until 2063. Plus, Star Wars takes place so far away that humanity does not exist. They just look like us. Second, Star Trek predicted a lot of what is now current technology. Star Wars predicted androids and some aspects of solar power. Sure, the androids are not as functional as C-3PO, but we have them. Is the argument on graphical fidelity in the movies? Nothing beats an exploding Death Star. Really, nothing. I mean, it's awesome. But otherwise, the movies are a state of the arts for the times. Uh, maybe the, it's the message that the movies send. Star Trek uses current world themes and applies them to its futuristic setting. Star Wars, not so much. It is more of an ongoing tale of David versus Goliath. What about the creators? I've never heard of an official George Lucas fan club, but I know there is one for Gene Roddenberry. It may be due to the creators' personal philosophies and how they treated their fans. Um, then again, I've never heard of fans of Star Wars arguing over how they're referred. The Trekkers versus Trekkies debate is for another time. What are the fans of Star Wars called anyway? Both series have global audience appeal. There are Star Trek and Star Wars fan clubs, movies, soundtracks, television series, as well as countless games. Based upon what has been planned thus far, Star Trek will have 13 movies and Star Wars will have 9. Star Trek has 6 television series, one of which is animated. Star Wars has multiple animated series and a few live action specials. On the game front, both have tabletop and general video games as well as massive multiplayer online games. Star Trek has official Star Trek conventions, theme properties, and cruises. I'm unaware of any Star Wars conventions, theme properties, or cruises. Well, unless you count Skywalker Ranch. However, both have significant fan turnouts at general science fiction conventions. Although, more Star Trek celebrities make public appearances. Huh. I'm running out of things to compare. So far, if this was a contest Star Trek is winning, this is the time to comment. What do you think about the debate? Who cares or does one have an advantage over the other? How else do they compare? Speak up 